Hey what's up, my name is David and this is week 4 of Designber. It is early Tuesday morning, the day that I'm supposed to be releasing this design video. So before we jump into things, I just want to give a bit of context. Um, this week's design was a little rough with exams and traveling uh, getting in the way for Christmas vacation. So I started this design last Thursday and about an hour into it, I stopped. I stopped because it sucked. Uh, I didn't like what I saw, everything in the design was flawed, colors clashed, there was no visual hierarchy, and it was disorganized, so it was just plain terrible. So what I decided to do was I scrapped the entire thing and just started over and taking what I learned from the first design and putting it into the second design, making sure I didn't make those mistakes. and. Late last night I got to a point where I was satisfied with the design. So here I'm going to show you my original design so you can see why I decided to start over. And then we're going to dive into the second design and you can see what I got as a final result. So what am I redesigning this week? Uh, last week I redesigned the MyUMB portal and a lot of you guys really liked it. Thanks for sharing it, thanks for uh, commenting on it and telling me what you guys thought of it. Uh, and because I got such a great reception from it, I decided to continue with that theme this week and redesign another UMB service, and that is eServices. So eServices has a lot of use cases. You can check your uh, final marks for courses. You can uh, register for courses, check your class schedule, um, vote in student union elections, change your passwords for things. It has a lot of use cases so for that reason I decided to just focus on one part of eServices and that is term marks and that's what I find people use eServices for the most is checking their marks at the end of the, at the end of the year and seeing what they got for a final mark so let's jump into it So in the first design, I was going for a paper style theme with a minimalist approach, but you'll see as the design progresses, the UI continues to get more and more cluttered.
you can see here that with all the information on the page, it's hard to pick out anything. There's nothing really in the design that draws your attention to what's important, and it's at this point that I decide to start fresh.
Well, that's it for this week. Next week, we'll be wrapping up Design Burton and getting ready for something entirely new in the new year. I hope what you got out of this video was that design is something that's very fluid. There's not really a, an entirely right solution every time, and often things just don't work out and you have to start over. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this design. Share it if you like it, and I'll see you next week. Bye.